Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in this lecture, we will discuss some questions based on ellipse. And in the last lecture, as we have discussed important terms and the equation of ellipse. So now we will discuss the question based on it. Okay. So let me first write the question. So student, here we are given a question in which we have to find out the coordinates of foci, vertices, the length of the major and minor axis and also the eccentricity of the ellipse. So let me first draw, let me first convert this equation into the standard form of ellipse. So we will divide the whole equation by 36. So what we will get is x square by 4 plus y square by 9 is equals 1. So the ellipse looks like this okay so this length is you can say 3 and this length is 2 okay so our this the major axis in this case is 2a so the length of the major axis will be 2 into 3 which is 6 this length is 6 and this length the minor axis will be 2b and which is 2 multiplied 2 which is 4 okay so in this case now we will find out the value of for, uh, the coordinates of focus which is 0 comma c and 0 comma minus c and we will find out the value of c from a square minus b square which is 9 minus 4 which is root 5 okay so this is root 0 comma root 5 and this is 0 comma minus root 5 and to find out the eccentricity we can check e is equals to c by a which is root 5 by 3 so this is the eccentricity and the coordinate of the vertices are 0 comma 3 and 0 comma minus 3 and the focus are 0 comma root 5 and 0 comma minus root 5 and we have also find out the length of major axis minor and the eccentricity so student in this way you need to find out all the terms which are asked to find out by using by first converting the equation into the standard equation okay now let's discuss one more question based on this so student here is another question in which we have to find out the equation of the ellipse and we are given the major axis is along the x-axis and passing through this ellipse is passing through these two points. So what he is asking about let me first write the standard equation of ellipse. Okay. We need to find out the length of the major axis and the equation of the ellipse so we need to find out basically a and b so we can put these two points which are given to us means the ellipse is passing through these two points so we can put these two points directly into this equation first so what we will get is 15 by a square plus 9 by b square equal 1 this is equation number 2 and putting the value of minus 1 and 4 in this equation we will get 1 by a square plus 16 by b square is equal 1 this is equation number 3 so by solving students by solving equation 2 and equation 3 what we will get is the value of a square we are getting is 247 by 7 and the value of b square is 247 by 15 so the final equation what we will get is x square by 247 by 7 plus y square upon 247 by 15 equal 1 means 7x square plus 15y square equal 247 so this is the equation that we have to find out for the ellipse.
okay so students these type of questions might come into exam in which you need to uh, solve the equation of the ellipse when you are given the points through which the ellipse is passing okay so we have discussed all type of questions in which uh, we can find out the length of major axis minor axis the foci vertices eccentricity okay and also the equation of the ellipse so based on the type of questions i think now you can easily solve the questions and if you are still facing any issue or any doubt then please do comment in the comment section student i will be more than happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning